Today, we're gonna to be creating a split screen intro that's engaging, looks great, has good sound effects and background music, and lets the viewer know what the video is all about, all within five seconds. Let's take a look. Before we start, I'd just like to give a shout out and a thank you to one of my subscribers and fellow YouTube creator, Andy Airshots, for providing the fantastic drone footage. Cheers, Andy, very much appreciated. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description below. Take a look at some of his clips, they're really good. I'm John, and this is Fun with Filmora. Lights, camera, action! Let's have some fun. Okay, I've already imported the footage that Andy Airshot supplied me, which is that one lovely shot. And a lovely colourful boat as well. So obviously I'll be using them. And what we want to create here is a split screen intro. So to do that, we need to go to templates, go down to split screen. You can use whichever one you want. I used split screen 29, so click on that. So drag that onto the timeline. I'll make that full width and it's about five seconds long which is ideal for the little intro we now go back to our media we move in on the split screen until we can see all three screens because we want to place our videos and our text in here and the way we do that is we click on our footage drag and drop it onto number one and that places it in there for you you can also move it about but I'm quite happy where it is I want to drag footage number two into slot number two or position number two. Now that's a little bit big. So what you can do is click on it once and a new little panel comes up. I'm just going to click on minus to shrink it. Yeah, that's fine. I can close that now. And I want this to be black. So I'll go to stock media, library, solid color, and I'll drag the black over onto number three. That's great. Next thing we need to do is add the logo, which is the text and the little drone sticker. So let's go up to stickers. And I typed in the word drone. And I found this. And I used this robot AI artificial intelligence. There's two of them, looks similar, but I chose this one. I saved it to my favorites, but I'm now just gonna click and drag that and add it onto the timeline. I want to position it round about yeah, it's not too, not too bad that actually. Right about there. Great, okay. That then needs to shrink down because obviously it's way too big and it needs to be on the right. So I'll just get to the part where I can see all of it. I'll scale it down. And I'll move it across and put it approximately where I think it's going to be. Because the next thing we need to do is add in our drone text. That looks a bit big. So I'll, again, I'll shrink it down ever so. Yeah, that looks fine. Next thing we need to do is to add text. So let's go up to the titles. We'll use the basic, drop that onto the timeline above. I want that to come in round about maybe the 128 mark. Yeah, about there, just in a little bit. So that looks okay. We need to change this text to say drone, all in capitals, but I want to leave a space in between. I've left four spaces and I'll put the word because we want the logo to fit in the middle as the letter O. I want to change that font to, it's called Bungie Inline. That's the one, Bungie Inline. There we go. Obviously too small, but I'll place it where it's going to be approximately, and then I shall resize it accordingly. Actually, I'll move in a little bit so I can see all of the circle. I'll resize this text because I want the N and the R to be approximately the same size as the the logo. That's not too far out there. I'll move it into position. Yeah, that looks okay. We now need to change the color of this. So we need to go to Word Art, and I've chose the first blue one. That's quite nice. The next thing we need to do is put in the word zone underneath. So I'll just move to where I think that is going to come in. I think it'll be round about there. Yeah, I'll drag another one down. In fact, no, I won't. What I'll do instead is I'll just copy this one, right click and copy. I'll make sure I'm on the next timeline and I'll paste, control V or right click and paste. 
that's put that above it where I want it to be. I need to change that text from drone to say zone. And it obviously needs to move down. So I shall drag that down underneath. It's too big. So I'll resize that text as well to something I think will look better. Let's try that. Maybe just a touch too big, so I'll shrink it down ever so slightly. And I'll move it into position. I'll use the arrow keys on my keyboard to get it more in the position where I want it to be. That's great. Under Word Art again, I'll choose this like gold color. That changes it to there. So let's give that a go, see what it looks like. So far, so good. I want the word drone and zone to fade in. I don't want it to come in that quick. It comes in quite quick there. So what I'm going to do is make sure I'm on the word drone and I'll go up to the video tab. This is on the text drone. I'll go to animation and I'll choose fade in. And I'll fade that in a bit. Not much, that's way too long. Drag it down. So let's try that from the start. Yeah, that seems to fade in better. We'll also add a fade into the word zone. So drag and drop, fade in onto the word zone. Again, it doesn't need to be too long. Just a quick fade in. Let's try that. Yeah, that seems to work well, happy with that. We now need to add some sound effects. So let's go to audio, the sound effect tab. And we're looking for title transition. If you search for that, it should be the first one. Yeah, and these are all free effects and anything in this video is free to use. So we drag and drop that down and that should come in with the first clip. We also want the same sound effect to come in when the second clip starts. So let's drag and drop that down as well. Let's try that. It might have come in a bit too quick. Let me just move that across a touch. Let's try that. Go back to the beginning. Yeah, that looked better. We also want some sound effects now for when the text comes in. So let's go to where the text starts. And we're looking for whoosh swoosh 12. So let's type that into the sound effect tab. And that's the one there. Drag and drop that on the audio timeline below, just before where the text starts. In fact, you can see there where the actual whoosh sound starts there, and you want that to be round about where the text starts. Let's see what that looks like. See, that was way too slow. So we need to move it across, make sure the sound starts when the text starts. That's not too bad. Try it again. Yep, good. Same again for the word zone. So we need to drag and drop it underneath the word zone, but we need to make sure that the sound starts when the actual text starts as well, as we did with the word drone. So let's see what that looks like. Okay, that worked well. Next thing we need is some music, background music. So staying on the audio tab, let's go to music. And I found one called Hip hop style promo, which seemed to work. It was a case of just searching through them, to be honest, and having to play around, see which ones are like. This is a free one again. Drag and drop that onto the timeline. It might be a bit loud looking at the size of the waveform there. Let's just give it a go. Oh, no, it's not too bad. Not too bad at all. What we need to do now is go to the end of the clip where the split screen ends, and we need to delete the end of this music here. We don't need that, so click and delete. So the last thing we want to do is we want to make sure that the text starts fading out when the rest of the video fades out. So the video starts fading out round about there. We want the text and this sticker to fade out at the same time. So the way we do that is we go to each item. So I'll go to the word zone first, click on that. We go to video, animation, and click and drag the fade out over where we want it to fade out. So there, and drag that to the very end, and then that will fade out at the same time. We need to do the same on the next two. So on the word drone, click and drag fade out. I'll move that across, I missed that a little bit there, so it's in line, and drag that to the very end. And also on the sticker, 
we want it to fade out at the same place. So we go to animation, fade out, drag and drop. Move that across so it's in line and drag that to the end. Let's take that from the beginning and see what it looks like. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial and if you did, please leave a comment below. I really do appreciate it. As always, thanks very much for watching. Now go have some fun.